Morning everybody, and uh, I want to show you how I scale a gun. I scan into the computer a ruler, and I can't show the top of it because my camera is in one position, but uh, the way I get the ruler scaled is I put the edge of the ruler on the top edge of the uh, paper, and uh, the bottom part, I bring it up to 11 inches. And uh, that's how I scale my ruler for the page. And now, I bring another ruler in that I've scaled. And uh, now that I got the scale for that, I bring this up to there, and uh, let me explain. The average size of a head, from top of the head to the bottom of the uh, chin, is about eight and a half inches. This is a smaller ruler that I'm going to scale everything up with, or down with, or whatever. Uh, the head size on the piece I'm working on is three inches from top to there. So what I do is I take this ruler and I keep compressing it till I get eight and a half inches. So now I've got this ruler scaled to eight and a half inches. Uh, for the three inch head measurement since everything's measured in head measurements and so this scales this ruler down to uh, eight and a half inches matching the three inch mark this automatically scales this ruler here uh, to the size of the head of the uh, ar armature that I'm working on and uh, so everything that I do I can look up uh, measurements uh, on the internet for a particular rifle and uh, I can go by that so I'm going to move that out of the way now I'm going to take this picture here and I'm going to keep increasing it now this is on a publishing program it's called Printmaster Gold 18 you can buy the uh, program online I uh, just google it I want to bring this ruler forward and uh, I go up here and let's see I go up here in a drop down menu and I click on layer and I bring to the front so now this is directly in front of uh, the picture so now I can take uh, this head let's pull it over here and see where I am now I've got his head measurement at eight inches right now so I just gotta increase it just a little bit more by pulling up on the upper edge of the picture that keeps increasing the picture's size I know this might be confusing all right, I got the head at eight and a half inches from the top of his head to the bottom of his chin right there. So now I've got that scaled. I can go down to the rifle he's holding and everything is measured out there. And that way I can take this picture, print it out with the uh, rifle and uh, reproduce it to scale for the uh, clay that I'm working on. And I'm going to have the barrel cut off right there as a uh, Indian um, modified rifle that uh, they would have cut off the barrel to uh, make shooting from the back of a horse a little easier. Now I'll print out the uh, picture with the ruler, the scaled ruler on there too for future use. And I'm printing out just the rifle. So here's the uh, rifle 
print it out as you can see and uh, I can just trace that rifle and it uh, will be automatically scaled to the sculpture that I'm working on now just to show you what I was talking about uh, this is uh, Michael Terry or Michael uh, Bad Hand and uh, he uh, has an authentic Indian rifle this is a flintlock and you can see how he's wearing it in his belt and that's what I'm going to do with this rifle that I'm uh, reproducing here it's a more of an 1860s or 70s style rifle that uh, would be more matching uh, the period that this warrior is in and you can see how the barrel has been cut off right there and uh, I think it's pretty cool uh, I've been doing research as to what type of uh, rifle that uh, gentleman is carrying or, or standing with and I believe it's an 1873 trapdoor uh, US Springfield uh, and uh, it's a military weapon that could have been taken off the body of somebody he had uh, killed and uh, I'm just looking for details um, and this is the rifle that matches the look of the rifle that I've, I'm, I'm looking at in the photograph. And uh, there's the lock system, and it gives me good detail for that. And I'm saving the pictures, and I print them up, and I'll use those as reference for when I sculpt the uh, rifle. I'm not going to be putting a lot of detail into it because, well, I will on the part that will be sticking out of his belt. And that can be seen. That's uh, what I'm going to... Let's see. That's a trap door right there. And that's uh, what that... Where he gets the name for that particular rifle. And it would be in keeping with uh, cavalry on the plains uh, fighting against the Indians. Now here's a, a diagram of... Uh, how the lock system worked, I guess. Oh, that's an 1868 uh, Springfield there. But anyway, I'm just uh, continuing to research uh, what I'm going to do, and then uh, I will uh, go to the hardware store and uh, get me some uh, wooden dowels that would match the size of the barrel of this particular uh, Spencer's rifle <clears> or <throat> Springfield rifle he might carry a pound if he didn't carry a belt or wear a belt with the uh, ammunition in it I'm thinking he'd probably have them in a bag that he could just you know reach into and grab a few shells and put them into the rifle there's a shell right there. They're pretty big shells. Uh, pretty powerful gun. Alright, till next time.